Welcome to Hook and Loops. I'm EJ Hart, and today I'm going to show you how I crochet a lariat holder. The tools that I'm using are two ponytail holders, scissors, 5.5 millimeter boy hook, four medium weight yarn at Hobby Lobby, and a large needle, like a tapestry needle. I'm going to start by forming a slip knot. I'm going to cast on with a single crochet, so I'm just going to pick up my ponytail holder and put my hook through the ponytail holder and pull up the yarn. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. That's casting on with a single crochet. I'm going to do another single crochet, so I'm going to put my hook through the ponytail holder and pull up the yarn. Yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. I'm going to be putting as many single crochets into this ponytail holder as I can. I'm going to pull the single crochets down and condense them. And I'm just going to keep putting in more single crochets until it's all filled up. I'm going to slip stitch it into the very first single crochet stitch to close the round. I'm just going to put my hook into the top part of that first single crochet that was made under both loops. I'm going to pull the yarn through. Then I'm going to pull it through the loop that's already on the hook for a slip stitch. I'm going to make a chain by putting the yarn over the hook and pulling it through the loop on the hook. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and you can make the chain as long or as short as you'd like. I like mine to be long. Okay, I'm going to cast on to the other rubber band with a single crochet. So I'm just going to put my hook through the rubber band and pull up the yarn. Yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. That's casting on with a single crochet. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this ponytail holder. I'm going to put as many single crochets around the ponytail holder as I possibly can. I'm going to skip the video to where I get all the way around the ponytail holder. I'm going to slip stitch into the beginning stitch where I cast it on. It's going to be right underneath that chain. So I'm just going to slip stitch right underneath it. I'm 
Now I'm going to go on to the chain and put in single crochets. So I'm just going to go into the next stitch on the chain. and put in a single crochet. I'm going to put a single crochet in each stitch on the chain until I get to the other ponytail holder. I'm going to slip stitch onto the ponytail holder right next to where I started the chain. So I'm just going to stick my hook through the top part of the single crochet, pull the yarn through, and then pull it through the loop on the hook for a slip stitch. Now I'm going to go into the next stitch on the ponytail holder and slip stitch into that one as well. Okay, now I'm going to chain one. Okay, when you turn it over and you look at the chain, the very first one, that is the slip stitch. So I'm not going to work into that. I'm going to skip it. That one right there, skip. I'm going to go into the single crochet and put in one single crochet. Now I'm going to put one single crochet into each stitch until I make it back around to the other ponytail holder.
Now I'm going to slip stitch back onto the ponytail holder. I'm going to chain one and cut off a tail to sew in. I have a large needle and I'm just going to use that to sew in the tails. So I'm just going to weave it into the work. I'm going to turn it around and weave it in again. And I want to try to get through some of the fibers and not just weave it. So now I'm going to go back into the same yarn and I'm going to try to get into the middle of that yarn. And this will keep it from coming back out. And I'm going to do the same thing to this tail. Consider subscribing to Hook and Loops. Just click the button and click subscribe. And thank you for watching.